Hi, I'm Victoria, a licensed esthetician and laser technician. This is your Best Esthetician Podcast, and today we are going to dive into why we love, hate Instagram. Let's lean more on the on the hate. On the hate. <laughs> For now. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, a, a something we've been wanting to talk about for a little while now. We'll just jump right jump right into it. Yeah. Um, Where do I even start? Yeah. <laughs> yeah we we want to talk a little bit about the Skin by Victoria Instagram. It's been mm-hmm. an Instagram we've been working on for a long time. We've yes. been, I don't know, maybe three years now or so. We started two years, two and a half, almost three. No, that is really dramatic. It's less? Yes. Remember you were like, are you kidding me? We've only been doing this like a year no 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 okay well it's probably been two years it's probably now. closer to two, two yeah. years now since we like yeah really dove in and, and, and put a lot of effort into it yeah and it's been we've gotten some good growth and it's been a while yeah yeah we've gotten some good growth but yeah over the past three to six months it was it seemed things seemed really really good and then it mm-hmm. turned pr- pretty sour uh, yeah it was really so sour. yeah i don't know if you want to kind of give a little story uh we can you could start off with kind of maybe the uphill of yeah. when we started to get a, get a lot of traction and how we did it and mm-hmm. how we kind of tapped into that. Yeah. So I'll just start from the beginning, obviously. So when we first got into Skin by Victoria, um, we literally, I mean, he's a photographer, videographer. So we were so excited to bring high quality to the industry. So that was something that we are very proud of and that we were just so excited about because when we first started, it didn't, there was no high quality on Instagram or in just as, at least the, the niche, you know, the skincare in our industry. Yeah. Yeah, So, um, when we first started doing these videos, obviously since not a lot of people were doing the high quality, it was a very hard niche to crack. So, what she's saying is that people didn't like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so people didn't we like We didn't it. get a lot of reach. It was at yeah. the early stages of reels. Yeah. So we were putting out... I think out... people appreciated the quality yeah. and they were like, how do you do that? Yeah. But the reach as far wasn't as there. the reach... Yeah. Um, yeah, the audience wasn't super engaged yeah. always. It was, I think, it was just so different that I think mm-hmm. people were... It's not what people are used to seeing in yeah. this niche. So and when so, when they're scrolling yeah. and that comes up, we look like something mm-hmm. else. Right? Yeah, so we posted about I would say a month of just like high quality and making informal videos and then one day we were taking a walk and I just look at my phone and my phone's like blowing up with notifications of of likes and I'm like freaking out because of course every you know the dopamine you're like oh my gosh like so, so many people are is my post going viral or whatever so I was so happy to finally get some type of reward for all the hard work because it takes forever and i was so excited so i feel like finally like that was when everybody was just you know we we're like oh, everyone was like oh my gosh how are you getting 1500 to 2000 views like that was huge like yeah, really early when we first days. started yeah. and everyone was so shocked they're like oh my gosh how do you get so much reach and i was like I have no idea. I'm just (laughs) posting these videos. And, you know, it it was, there was a time where, you know, we were feeling super good because we were like finally getting some return in, you know, in the, in all the invested time and hours that we were putting into Instagram. And, um, so we were consistent for about six months, Mm -hmm. I would say. And still, I mean, growing, but not on like a viral status yeah, or anything yeah, like that. It was that. a very slow, <clears throat> consistent yeah. growth, but we were very slow, consistent, consistent, posting six yeah. days a week minimum, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And so this was, I mean, a year, a year and a half ago now. I would say probably like a year and a half now. Time flies. But we were finally, you know, getting in the groove and, you know, growing consistently. And I would say it helped me with a clientele in Orlando, Florida. So it was really good and, you know, got me where I needed to be at that time. And we were like, okay, something needs to change. Like we're not growing enough. And so, you know, all this hard work, all this, you know, dedication, fast forward to when we moved to Gilbert, um, I would say it happened a little bit before, um, maybe like a month or two before we moved out here Mm -hmm. was when I feel like Instagram started rewarding me and I started getting more views on my videos. And so when I say that anywhere from 10 to 30 K views on a video, so it was finally paying off and I was Mm -hmm. super happy. Finally, we 
you know, started posting literally every single day, maybe two times a day. Yeah. And with that, the strategy <clears throat> was also changing as well. Yeah. And I know sometimes Victoria just looks at like posting and then and views, but I, I've always kept a, a really tight eye on, on our engagement and uh, retention and, yeah. and what, what things we can do to raise mm -hmm. that retention. And we could talk a deeper about <clears throat> strategy later, yeah. uh, but we started to kind of really figure out uh, what, not just Instagram liked, but people were liking, right? Mm -hmm. People were learning a lot. Uh, we are consistently yeah. gaining followers from it. But yeah, that was seven days a week and sometimes two posts a day, yeah. right? And not <laughs> always, uh, but we had a very, very consistent schedule yeah. and we're very precise about what we were posting, what times we were posting it, mm -hmm. the hooks for the videos, uh, the thumbnail for the video. Literally every single detail yeah. into the yeah. videos. Um, so we you know, being in Arizona, finally we were getting like actual views. We were like, okay, wow, this is finally taking off. It's finally doing what we want it to do as far as views and engagement go. So, you know, we were super happy, like literally every single video that we posted kept getting, you know, so many views. And so we were finally growing, like getting a consistent amount of views and likes. And then I would say that was we were growing rapidly for about a month or two. And then when we when we went to California, and this is where it just gets goes downhill from here. Yeah, this, yeah, this, this is, is the, this is this is like the, we were on a high for, for two yeah. months. So yeah, we're averaging And then God humbled us really. Yeah, quick. we're averaging seventy five to eighty thousand <laughs> views per video. Uh we actually think that was around the time that we got the viral I call it viral. I don't call a lot of things viral, but the viral hand post. Yeah. Um of the picture of Victoria's hand with how much product to use. It's really uh, famous. which was yeah, very controversial, <laughs> which is funny. Uh but yeah, that that's when we really saw a really peak. Mm -hmm. Uh I think that was around the time that we just about hit uh, 10,000 followers, yeah. which was a pretty big deal. So yeah, everything was mm -hmm. uh, really on the up and up. And then right before we went to California, actually, we were offered the reels bonus which was oh, with yeah, yeah this I is yeah there's the there's a, this bonus. is a two part story there's a turn um, of events yeah so i we we thought long and hard about this reels bonus situation because instagram they really glorify this thing like yeah. it is in every mm. single day you log into the app they're like you're they they literally tempt you to do the reels bonus yeah. every time you log mm. in basically and i was telling him yeah. I don't think this is a good idea. It no, seems, wait, hold on. There was a, there was a back and forth. There was a back and forth. Yeah, she but did, my heart she was told a little, me no. My heart, my, it seemed too good to be yeah. true. So I did a lot of research in the Reels bonus and there was love-hate relationships with the Reels bonus on the Instagram. Some creators were saying they made a lot of money and they were killing it off of it. Um, at the time, uh, we won't, won't dive too much into this, but Victoria was getting ready to transition out of a spa that she was working at here uh, to hopefully go on into full kind of influencer mode. And I thought the Reels bonus would be a great way to pull some passive income in while we did that mm -hmm. so there was the biggest issue with most people on the reels bonus is that it limited reach okay so yeah. that was our conversation we're going to limit some reach but i'm like our reach is really good so a little bit of limit is okay now we're making money it's monetized so we uh we talked about it for a long time and we didn't mm -hmm. know if we were going to do it I finally talked to Victoria. It was, she is right. I did have to talk her into it. And yeah. I said, let's do it. So right before we went to California, I think of five days or so before we went out back to California, we uh, signed up and were approved for the Reels bonus program. And immediately, the day we posted our first Reel, the same type of content that we were getting 75, 80,000 views on, uh, which you can go back and look at Victoria's Instagram. It's very clear if you look through Reels of the immediately timeline. the first one we started the bonus on. And yeah. it was 5,000 views and we were like this is the same content that we've already yeah. did and we had 30 days of content already ready to I go I told you they tricked us yeah so they definitely tricked us and they also got you so as far <clears> as the, <throat> the finances the money goes we're watching the money it tells you how much money you're making as the video is getting views and we were watching it hike up oh $50 $75 and immediately I'm like Victoria if we make a hundred bucks a day, 30 days this month, this is pretty good. And she's like, okay, but the reach, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, but a hundred bucks a day. So we were a little bit optimistic. Okay. So that was the first reel and it ended up doing, You're I don't know. You're more optimistic yeah, than so, me. Yeah, I, I did, knew it, something yeah, I did about 7,000 views in, in uh, the reels bonus that we made a hundred bucks. The next day we post our next reel the reach is, is terrible again. And it's then, like going downhill. Uh -huh, like then literally. the money, this is where the problem started. The money, it was at a hundred bucks. And after that next view, the next reel got the same amount of views. We gained like $7. So how Instagram does this is 
your first videos get more money per view and the more videos you post, the amount of money goes down per view, which is a little shady. It, yeah. it, it definitely doesn't, I, I don't quite understand it. But yeah, so now we're limited reach and we're at like $109 in like five days. No, I cashed out a hundred. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was lower, but it yeah. So lower. after, yeah, yeah. It but, hit its peak at literally a hundred dollars. Yep. And I think at a hundred dollars, you had to get even more views to to qualify for more money and it was really confusing yeah, so, and, and yeah and you're you're stuck opted in you can't yeah. leave after you start even if you don't click the reels bonus to turn it off for some reason they weren't giving us reach still so yeah, yeah. it was it was just a whole mess yeah and bottom just, line number one regret number two it was just a waste of money yeah so if you're wondering we don't recommend the reels <laughs> bonus really anybody in this industry and it asks me yeah. again i'm like do you think i would ever trust yeah, they ask you me. every time it again? comes up she gets angry at instagram I guess, don't ask i'm like me. it it trick i hate that word it but it triggers, triggers me yeah. i'm like ah. yes yeah, so anyway so i know you're going into the next <laughs> part of the story yes. that she she hates to share but it's, it's a mistake really that we made yeah it's not that embarrassing can everybody show, put their hands up if you've ever downloaded an unfollow app? <laughs> um, honestly, I am not one of those that's really crazy about it, but I'll check literally maybe like once a month um, or if I remember like once every two months to check just because I, you know, I mean. Don't, you don't got to explain yourself. Yeah. Lots of people anyways, like, yeah, yeah, lots of people anyways, like to see you unfollow. I just, you know, I'm curious. I like to just keep up with it. So I have this app. I've had it for I think I've had it since maybe a teenager. Yeah, a long time. Yeah. I think it's, it's one a, of it's the well-known yeah. ones. You look up unfollow. It's one of the top it's, ones on Instagram. Yeah, it's like the top app. So, you know, I, I go into it one day and it tells me that I have to pay a subscription for it now. And I'm like, I'm not going to pay a subscription for this. That's a waste of money. So I download, downloaded another app that was well-known. I mean, I literally just typed it on follow app and it was maybe like the third one. And I downloaded it. I logged into that app and it just starts circling and circling and circling. And I'm like, what is going on? And then out of nowhere, it just like, it blanks out. Everything logs out. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Did I just get scammed like from, from this app? I was like, it was, it had a bunch of reviews. And then I start reading reviews of this app into detail. And it's saying that I lost my account from this. I can't believe that, you know, I trusted this app. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, this app is just a bunch of scammers. And I go to log into my Instagram and it's just gone. My Instagram's just gone. Like I go yeah. to log in and it says that this account doesn't exist. Yeah. So then we're searching it on our other Instagram on my phone and it's just yeah. not skin by Victoria does not exist. Yeah. And it goes, and I'm like freaking out in my head. I'm like, I was honestly crying. <laughs> not going to lie. I was crying and I just was like, oh, we put so much work. I think into at that this point account. we were at like 13,000 like, followers or something yeah. like that too. And it, you know, we're two years into the, in the making mm -hmm. of this and we are already frustrated by this. Yeah, bonus and I situation. just, I just feel like we put so much work and time and effort into that account. And it was just one thing after another. And I was already frustrated with Instagram because they took away my reach and they, you know, doing the bonus program definitely I mean, ever since then, it hasn't yeah. been the same. So yeah, and after that situation, yeah. let's talk about what. So the next, <clears throat> what happened was she spent the next hour trying to log in on the computer, anything she could do to try to get it back. Um, we and both, Instagram support yeah. sucks. You can't yeah. like email, call yeah. anything. So yeah. they were like, well, pretty much your account's gone. Yeah. So we both like, yeah, we reported do. that the account was missing yeah. and, and it was nothing. And mm -hmm. then. So then I wake up at three o'clock in the morning because I can't sleep. I'm like, I'm, I'm like like just so mad at myself like why would you do that like what you know did I really have to know who unfollowed me so I was so angry I woke up at three in the morning and I logged in and magically my account I got back into my she, account she wakes me up at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> Chris Chris Chris, my account's back. And to me and I, I was, was like, like I said like Victoria mentioned I was much more optimistic because to me I felt we did it once 
I can do it again. And yeah. of course it feels discouraging, but I'm like, I, we did this. I know how to do it. I have it but dialed like, in now. I'm like, this is so embarrassing. I'm yeah. going to have to explain this to everyone. <laughs> and like when someone randomly finds me again, they're going to be like, what the heck happened to you? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. And the, we end up getting the account back. And then, but then as the next day comes around, we got a notification uh, that we were banned from posting liking other pictures and yeah. commenting on skin by victoria and we had the skin by you account at that point we were no, just getting ready to start that the business. wasn't that was what? a month after oh yeah that was separate yeah yeah that was yeah, so separate. they were immediately let us get back going yeah right? so they let us get going and then obviously our reach was the worst oh yeah so then been. yeah so this is what happens too after your that things like that happen to your account instagram flags your account what happened was they thought she was getting a, a like hacked essentially and Instagram doesn't like when you use third party applications that they're not partnered with. So they wiped her account. They, 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 put it on hold basically until they approve that it was her trying to get in. Um, but after those things happen, Instagram is very, very cautious thinking that you got, um, like a hacked. Yeah. So they're very, they're not, yeah, they're, they're just, they're, they're limiting your reach because they're kind of like trusting you again. So yeah, that was they a few months ago issues, now. And yeah. I'm like, I have trust issues. Yeah. So then, yeah, we're still posting. We're still on the reels <laughs> bonus at that point too. Yeah. Waiting for that to clear out. You're stuck in for 30 days. So that whole 30 days was just bad. All we had these amazing posts. Um, we messed around with kind of some meme style posts to try to like trick the algorithm yeah. of like, this is so funny. This has to work nothing was working. We got some decent reach on some, but you know, and I can jump into this again later of showing you how, you know, Instagram is limiting your reach. Uh, the two main reasons I, things I always look at is your shares and your saves. If you're getting a really high amount of shares and saves, Instagram's going to push your content and I can show content that we've done that has those shares and saves. So we're mm -hmm. looking at this and going, wow, 200 saves in 3000 views. <laughs> Something doesn't yeah. seem right. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, so we dealt with that month which is really rough for the business. We're trying to get things going. Uh, it's just, yeah, it felt Victoria every day was like, I don't want to post. I don't, I, and, and I'm like, we got to get, we, we got to push through this. And it just, it was very, very discouraging. And that was yeah. our business. That's how we made money mm -hmm. um, by doing partnerships and, and finding brands and doing deals. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was just super discouraging. So mm -hmm. yeah, we, we finished those 30 days out. Victoria said, do not enroll in Instagram bonus again. Yeah. And then yeah, I think they didn't invite you, which is weird. And they invited you like three days later. But I was yeah, like, oh, really? anyway, so yeah. So at that point we had both Instagrams. Now we have the skin by you AZ, which is our spa here in Gilbert. That's focused on Gilbert and, and Chandler and Arizona residents. Then yeah. the skin by Victoria. Yeah. So then that brings us into the next part because then we're running both these accounts and randomly one day, right? There's yeah. nothing triggered that nothing one, Nothing right? triggered this one. Like I literally was, I, I was done with any app i was like you know what i don't care who unfollows me i'm i'm just gonna follow everyone back yeah. you know like it's whatever and and so yeah i i mean we were literally like i was like i'm not touching anything i'm not downloading anything on instagram like it's just not worth it um and so we finally we're, we're just like you know going about our minding our own business still limited reach though. still limited reach, <laughs> reach though and just literally out of nowhere uh, my account just says you have been banned from liking, commenting, sharing anything on Instagram. Yeah, posting for like it was like days. a notification yeah. that just popped up, and it says it like sus suspicious activity has yeah. been detected on my yeah. account that I've been using a third party, yeah. and I'm like, um. That was a month ago yeah. when I downloaded an unfollow yeah. app. So That's, yeah, it might have been chasing back down. Yeah, from it might have yeah. been. They're like, oop, we caught you. Like, yeah. So I don't then, know, yeah, we knows? changed the password. We did all that. But Instagram. So yeah, then we're just every single day reporting back to Instagram. This is not true. This is not true on every account. And they're they like, just, if you've made it, if we, if we've made a mistake, tell us. So yeah. every single time yeah, we, we told, told them, them, we told them a lot. Them. They, they still and, haven't even responded back. to that. Yeah. And so um, they yeah they banned us for 14 days or and, and, no yeah. i think it was a week i think it was 14. Oh, okay yeah so and that that's a big one too so that's 14 honestly, days straight yeah at that point i was kind of relieved i was like you know what i'm over this i just want to break from instagram yeah. and so it gave me a chance to just refocus revamp and yeah. to be honest like even to this day like i love posting on instagram but it's just like 
I it's mean, a love hate relationship. Yeah, <laughs> like my re- I still feel like my reach is limited. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, so. it's not. She doesn't feel. It is a fact that our le- our reach is still limited. Um, we yeah. still we haven't given up. You know, we love what we do. We love teaching people, mm-hmm. and you know, we're grateful for what we have. We're grateful yeah. for the audience we've reached. And this, I don't ever want anything to sound like it's not good enough, and we need yeah. more. Um, it's just I certain mean, things. It's just confusing to go. <clears throat> you know, we did. We're doing what you want to do, Instagram, and you're not giving it back. Yeah. Um, which almost leads us to what we're doing right now on youtube yeah <laughs> you no. know we're we we know instagram's a great we're tool ditching but yeah instagram we're and s- moving slowly to ditching <laughs> instagram and moving on to youtube uh but to share things like this so yeah, yeah i think that's kind of that's a lot of what we want to talk about we mm-hmm. want to go over kind of that story just hasn't really been told besides anybody we really know yeah. uh, and we're still struggling with it and this is it's rough because it seems so silly because it's just instagram yeah but it's our business you know and this yeah. is how we make money this is how we provide i mean i think a um, lot of people can relate to instagram being your business yep it's it's the way that we survive it's the way that we make money and it's frustrating when you know an app that has so much potential they give you so much reach just like takes it away and you know it I'm sure a lot of people struggle. Yeah, of course. With. And yeah, we try to be optimistic. And like I said, mm-hmm. we're grateful for 7,000 views. But yes, we are very grateful for, yeah. for whatever reach yeah. we get. Yeah. It's just frustrating of the turn of events <laughs> yeah. that happened. It yeah. was so weird and so yeah. rare. And just, yeah, if I could yeah. give one advice, don't do the Reels program. And <laughs> no one follow her app. And no one follow yeah. app. Who cares? Yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll pretty much get ready to wrap this one up. Yeah. We just wanted, we haven't told that story before and, and wanted to tell the story if anybody has any questions uh, about any of that, uh, feel free to comment down below. Um, any of your own stories that you want to jump in and tell, or we'd if love you've to done hear the it. Reels bonus <laughs> yeah, program, yeah let us know. Yeah, I'd love to hear other. It seems like anybody that we see jump into it immediately get really quiet because, yeah. and I think it's the same reason. Everyone's and I'm, I'm not like, saying you're so lucky, and I'm like, no, no, I'm not. Yeah, no money. Yeah. So, and we didn't really want to talk about it on Instagram either because I'm afraid Instagram's gonna hear us and then go, oh, you know. Uh, but yeah, so we'll get ready to wrap this one up. Mm-hmm. Make sure you subscribe. We have plenty more episodes coming out soon. Um, we will talk uh, another time about yeah. Instagram strategy. I'd love to dive mm-hmm. into what we did to grow it, um, tools and tips for other estheticians or other business owners to do the same thing we've done, but not crash and burn. Yeah. Um, but we are working. We're, we're not giving up. We're going to keep on pushing um, until we can get the reach back up. Maybe we'll see. Uh, but yeah, you have anything else to close out with? No, that was it. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And we're excited for you guys to join our next podcast. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe wherever. I'm, I'm not going to point. It yeah, is. subscribe. 